Yeah. So uh, yeah. FBI, you want to eliminate the FBI? Yes, I do. Uh huh. You want me to talk about the details of that a little bit? Well, FBI. What else you want to kill? The FDA, FBI, CDC, IRS, ATF, Department of Education, Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and we're just getting warmed up. That's uh -huh. the answer. And 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 for me, these aren't slogans, right? I'll just give you one example on the FBI. Andy, Andy send him another hundred dollars, okay? Yeah, <laughs> guys, it's Vivek twenty twenty four dot com. Vivek twenty twenty four dot com. Uh, v i v e c k. No, v i v e k. V i v e k. V i v e k. Sorry, um, v i v e k twenty twenty four dot com. Uh, I just, you know, listen to what he wants to do, man. Like, I appreciate it. Like you guys need to send a message. I'm talking to the listeners right now. You guys have, you have to vote with your pocket. Like you can't just have ideas. Ideas you have to fund them. Okay. How how much money did you spend? You spent 15 million of your own money. Over 15. Yeah. How many interviews are you doing a day? Five, six, seven. Yeah. I mean, easily, easily, including town halls and everything else. I mean, I work from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. usually most days, yeah. seven days a week. Occasionally, we'll take a day a month off, but. We're yeah. stopping at nothing on this thing. And I, it, it lifts me up when the people of this country say, this is what they want. I am your instrument. Work through me to get this done. And, and for me, man, I will tell you, even the FBI shut it down. People say, is that extreme? No, 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 no. Extreme is the status quo. Let me tell you what's not extreme is having a government that actually represents the will of its people. So I'll give you specifics. There's 35,000 employees in the FBI. 20,000 of them are in back office functions. That's where the political rot comes from. They're going to have to go home and find honest work in the private sector. I'm pragmatic. The 15,000 agents that are on the front line, many of them good people, most of them good people, will move them to more specific agencies that haven't been polluted, like the U.S. Marshals, which mm -hmm. has been great on child sex trafficking rings. Move them to the DEA, which is investigating some of the same cases the FBI is, the drug cases, but in a separate silo. Move some of them to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network underneath the U.S. Treasury, which has actual expertise to go after white collar crime and large scale theft. So this isn't some sort of political slogan. This is an actual vision of how it's done. We don't need the FBI itself as an institution. That is still the J. Edgar Hoover building that people walk into and report for duty every day. It is built in the shadow of J. Edgar Hoover. We don't need it. Uh -huh. But that doesn't mean people are going to suffer. To the contrary, the 15,000 people who really matter, we're moving them to other agencies that haven't been corrupted. So this isn't, so people say, oh, is this extremist or impractical? No, this is far more practical and effective, but also legal and constitutional than what we're actually doing today under the current status quo. So that's the kind of leader I want to be is, yes, idealist in my convictions, but deeply pragmatic in how we actually implement it.